The Simon Fraser University men's cross country team gets ready for the 2007 NAIA National Championships at the Dr. Wayne E. Donnell cross country course in Kenosha, Wisconsin. At the Cannon, over 250 competitors are off, with Dylan Gant, the fourth year senior, gunning to the front of the pack. The Azusa Pacific Cougar, Aaron Rono, moves ahead to take the early lead. In the pack of runners that follows, Gant looks to advance, while the junior Chad Fraser is steadily gathering speed. Not far behind is the freshman in a frenzy, Brett Wakefield. Azusa's Rono is making everyone say oh no as he maintains the top spot. However, Dylan Gant is on a hunt down for a cougar from the Azusa Pacific region. His weapon of choice? A pair of very fast spikes. Also tracking down these paw prints is David Wamboy, determined to catch this manther. The Mitch Cully Express is full steam ahead while Ryan Brockerville chases this train. And Seth Fraser has the eyes of a Death Star laser. At the finish line, Aaron Rono wins the race in a time of 23 minutes and 52 seconds. A gigantic performance on this day from Dylan as he strides in at 14th place running his final cross country race for the clan. Next in for SFU finishing 21st is Wamboy who earns all American honors. The Mitch Cully Express rolling like a freight train puffs his way to a 56th place finish. Running for mayor of Marystown tomorrow, today Brockerville runs in at 4th for the clan. And fighting the Kenosha Cold to finish out the top 5 for SFU is Seth Fraser, while twin brother Chad charges in to finish 6th for the clan. And finally, Brett Wakefield shows his skills with a strong surge to snatch the 7th spot. The Simon Fraser University men's cross country team would surprise everyone as they took home the 4th place overall NAIA team title. We weren't even ranked in the top 25 going like a week before regionals and we ended up winning regionals which was surprising and I'm not entirely sure how we did today but I think we did pretty well and I don't know I think we've exceeded a lot of expectations this year at this team and we're, it's a very young team and I'm just really proud of everyone. I think uh, during practice and outside of practice uh, we're a great group of friends uh, and uh, we know each other inside and out. You can look, just look at one of the guys and you can automatically tell something's wrong or if they're having a great day so uh, I think um, just on the bus, just on the van ride down here, I think uh, we were singing along in a couple of songs, and you could just tell everyone in the van was just ready to run the race and felt great. So, and I knew today, uh, working as a team, we would do well, and it's, we prove ourselves that we are a great team, and we are together, and we like each other, and we work together. I think the men were amazing today. I'm so proud of where they've come all this year. Um, they started in August at the training camp with a, a huge motivation and a goal to get here. And then they did their best every step of the way today. I think they're as surprised as I am that they placed in the top four. They're going to get uh, rewarded with plaques. And uh, it's, it's better than we have done for many, many years as a team. So really proud of them. I know we've got great things to come next year. We're only losing one person. Obviously, it's a big loss in Dylan Gant but we've got some great freshmen to take that place and we've got uh, Chad and Seth back next year for their senior year so I'm really excited about what's to come for the men's program um, I know they're extremely happy and satisfied with their performance here today